Hi, I'm Stephen Wiltshire. I'm here for the Singapore because I'm going to do the continue to drawing the panorama in Singapore because I really have to lots to, to do and um, uh, to get it done and much as possible. If, if I can, I might get it done by Sunday because there's lots of information and um, it's going to take a lots of hard work to do it and do we best I can and never stop. With every stroke of his pen, savant artist extraordinaire Stephen Wiltshire brought the Singapore skyline to life on his canvas. Stephen has immortalised some of the most iconic cities in the world through his panoramas. And now it's Singapore's turn. God, it's a so beautiful city. They've got uh, skyscrapers. And it's so, so perfect. But not everything was perfect. The king of fruits, or durian, certainly did not get his seal of approval. So I don't like it, I don't like the taste. Renowned for producing massive cityscapes from memory and in extreme detail, Stephen is an artistic savant with a phenomenal gift. But a lot more thought and planning goes into producing these stunning panoramas than just having a photographic memory. I looked at the, the skyline, it was beautiful out there and I took some couple of the pictures of it and then, and then I do a bit of a video it and it, it was pretty cool and then I'm going to do some sketching on my sketchbook for this afternoon uh, today and I'm going to do it at the hotel and then stud, study it and if I had to figure out I'm gonna, how I'm going to memorise it by, by memory. It's only in the last couple of years he started taking photos with his iPhone. Before that, he would just literally just memorize. Um, and then when we're back on land, then we'd go back to a hotel or to a waiting room. And uh, he would then plan and sketch out what he's about to do. Um, and just do little sequels, little quick sketches in his book, um, just to lay out you know, a, a routine, if you like, of what he's going to do and plan it out each day. As an artist, I think he's very focused and he's a perfectionist and he wants to get it right. Um, and so that's important to him and, and that is his persona, that, that's his character of how he produces his uh, panorama. Um, and so detail and information and um, he, he puts, I guess he would put a lot of pressure on himself, if you like, um, of completing the work because he knows he's only got a certain limited time to do it in. Um, and so he has to work out a plan of how much time he's got for each day to complete it by the end of the week. Most people sort of uh, think that he just memorizes and then boom, you know, he's just off drawing on the paper. But there, there is a lot of effort and skill and time and thought put into it. Um, there's, a lot, there's a big process. Um, and uh, it's not easy and uh, there's a lot of labor and um, labor of love if you like going into it and he's passionate you know this is his life you know we need air and water and, and food to eat he needs pen and paper to keep him going this is what keeps him going this is what uh, his dream is um, his goal even from a very early age from nine was for him to travel around the world and depict his love of architecture um, and this is coming from someone who um, was told that he would not be able to walk on his own he would not be able to think for himself he wouldn't be able to do many things you know uh, be an independent man and he's broken that cycle you know he's 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 broken that barrier and he can and he's proved to many people that it doesn't matter what uh, difficulties you have or um, blocks that are in your way these blocks can be broken down and if you believe in it enough and uh, trust in yourself you, you can get through it regardless hundreds came to witness Stephen's amazing skills over the five days he took to draw the Singapore skyline including the president of Singapore 
who added a presidential touch to the piece. The president is a nice man. He's, he talks about all the things and it's very nice to do all about things about myself, and about the drawings and the trips, everything. And, um, and I show him around and then tour and a bit of everything. It was so great. I teach him how to do, do a line mm. for the buildings okay. and for the details. He's never ever actually done a panorama with anybody adding their own taste to it. So it was very interesting to see the president of uh, Singapore come along and put a few strokes on the piece of paper. Um, I believe uh, he was actually very nervous in the process of doing it and Stephen told him it's okay, don't be nervous, you're doing all right, you're doing a good job. So yeah, it was a, a really touching moment to see that. <laughs> Stephen is an inspiration to many especially those with special needs. He's very happy that they come around to say hello and he shakes their hand and he encourages them and tells them, you know, really good work and uh, well done and keep up the good work. So it, it's nice to, to see that bond together with them, yeah. When he's not drawing, he's just like any other human being. You know, he's silly, he's quirky, he's funny. Um, he is a great magazine addict. He loves um, American classic cars. He loves music, so he's forever downloading new tunes on his iPhone. Um, he loves shopping. Um, and he loves souvenir buying <laughs> and postcards of landmarks, yes. <laughs> And uh, he loves life, just like everybody else. He wants to be treated the same as everybody else. Um, you know, just because he has autism, it doesn't mean that everything stops. Everything keeps going on, and uh, we don't really focus on that so much. It's more about focusing on living life and living it to the full. And his motto is, uh, do the best you can and never stop. And I believe that, and I, I think it's a, a great expression uh, to have because it's not just for uh, certain individuals with uh, uh, problems or with conditions, it's to everybody. Um, so I feel Stephen is a everybody person, you know, he's out there to deliver to everyone and he enjoys what he does and I think that's the main thing. I feel as my brother, he's a massive inspiration to me because, you know, we have a tendency that we have things very easy. Um, and we take it for granted sometimes. And then I look at my brother, who's a very simple, very humble individual, who doesn't want much. Um, and he gets great gratitude in producing these, you know, marvelous drawings. And uh, his feedback is to see the crowd uh, be happy and smile. And, and, and that gives him a great feeling, a great sense of confidence, a great sense of accomplishment. Um, and, and, you know, it's those little things that he wants in his life that mean so much to him. So I, I, I salute him for that, yeah. I feel happy and feel good and I'm going to be very pleased about the, to finish up and then complete the, all the, the stuff of um, my panorama. Stephen's four metre long panorama of Singapore was a gift to celebrate the city-state's 50th birthday in 2015.